We begin this hour of Sun News Live with a Sun News Flash. Two people are dead after a small plane crashed in Vernon, B.C. on Saturday. Police say that shortly after takeoff, the small plane suffered engine failure, causing it to spiral down and burst into flames. Thanks for joining us here on Sun News Live. Let's go live right now to Richard Zussman in Vancouver with the very latest on this tragic crash. Uh, Richard, what can you tell us? Yeah, Brian, took place uh, in Vernon, British Columbia in the interior. It was a twin-engine plane. It took off uh, yesterday under perfect conditions, sunny, not a lot of wind. Uh, witnesses say the plane uh, took off uh, after heading off the runway. Uh, it cleared trees they're no higher than eight meters uh, the plane then headed downward it spiraled towards a sports field uh, hit the sports field and burst into flames uh, there were two individuals on board uh, police confirmed both were dead the transportation board is investigating so are police in the coroner's office uh, police have released some information about uh, the two individuals in the plane uh, the one was the pilot from Kelowna a male 59 years old the passenger only being described as 55 years old from the Port Moody area. Uh, police have not yet uh, released the identities of the individuals. Witnesses on scene, Brian, uh, say uh, they saw the plane uh, take off. Uh, they heard the noise of clipping the trees and then uh, many saw the explosion on the ground. Uh, witnesses also say the plane had just gassed up uh, before taking off. Based on eyewitness reports, we can accurately recreate the crash at the Vantage One Soccer Center in British Columbia on July 7, 2012. Like the San Rafael Airport, there are 100 planes based at the Vernon Regional Airport, according to Graham Go, the airport manager. A twin-engine Piper Apache, represented by a similar airplane here, took off at approximately midday with 144 gallons of fuel, a pilot, and a passenger. Shortly after takeoff, one of the engines failed, causing the plane to veer off course. The plane clipped some trees, careened over vacant sports fields, heading directly toward the indoor soccer facility. The plane crashed and burst into flames in a picnic area adjacent to the facility, approximately 750 feet perpendicular to the runway. Outdoor youth soccer league play had ended two weeks prior to this accident. The indoor Canadian facility is open primarily during the winter months, Activity at the San Rafael Sports Facility is proposed year-round, seven days a week.